Hey folks, welcome to this Sunday Keys event titled Build. It's been a while since we've gotten together for an event like this. The last time we did was to announce the release of the Sunday Keys app for iPad. It's hard to believe that was over two years ago, but here we are. It's been incredible to see how you've used Sunday Keys since then and how the app has grown. In these last two years, we've added incredible features like plugin hosting, support for song specific patches, seamless snapshot transitions, flex routing with multiple audio outputs, built in cloud backups, setless sharing, the ability to add up to 15 sounds to a patch, a built in metronome, snapshot notes, and of course, the completely standalone Mac format. The app now powers the keys rigs for thousands and thousands of worship services around the world every weekend. We've added hundreds of new sounds and patches to the library, adding new cutting edge sounds every single month. And more recently, we released a completely rebuilt sound and patch browser to make it easy and intuitive to find the perfect sound, no matter what you're looking for. Let's take a look back at what's been built so far. It checks all of my boxes as a worship leader, building this infrastructure for a worship ministry. It just makes it so, just so intuitive and easy to get this set up. I love this app. It doesn't sound like it's coming from an iPad. It sounds like it's coming from my Mac. This is the future. It's super easy, man. Like, I really don't have a whole lot of time to program. This takes out all of that time of trying to learn how to do all that. It's so easy. I'm a guitar player. I don't play keys, but this thing is inspiring. They took all of their amazing sounds, amazing templates and layouts and put it into its own app and this thing is amazing. So this is the Keys Rig. Sunday Sounds had just put out their iPad software and it's great. They're always updating new sounds. This just made all of this really, really simple. I am excited to announce that with the latest update to the Sunday Keys app, we are bringing support for song specific patches to the standalone Sunday Keys App. I'm excited to share that the Sunday Keys app is now available for Mac. Head over to the App Store and check it out. Today is your first look at plugin hosting inside of the Sunday Keys app. And I'm excited to say that we've recently updated the app to include support for multiple audio outputs. We've also introduced a fully featured metronome. Before I started Sunday Sounds, I had a specific problem I needed to solve. I was a worship leader needing to set my keys players at church up for success to empower and inspire them to bring their best from the keyboard and sound like the bands whose songs we were playing. Back then, one of my biggest challenges was just how long it took to design complex patches from scratch every single week. But I knew it was important to find the right sounds and mix them together to create a full mix. And I knew my volunteers weren't quite ready to take that on themselves. So I'd spend hours prepping patches every single week. And well, eventually that turned into Sunday sounds, but most worship leaders and keys players don't have hours to invest each week. That's why what we provide through our incredible sound library and ready to play patches can make such a big difference. You can find a patch that's a good starting point for you and customize it, or you can build exactly what you need from our curated sound library. But each of these approaches still takes time and a bit of sound design experience. So we've gone to work to imagine a whole new way to build a patch, an approach as simple as just telling us what kind of patch you need, like this. Can you make a patch with a piano and pad that I can use to play underneath someone who is praying? patch for an upbeat song with lots of synths and a bass in the left hand. I need an organ, an electric piano, and layered strings using at least six sounds. Today's event is called Build because we want to introduce you to the brand new AI-assisted patch builder, the first and only tool of its kind. This new patch builder taps into the latest in AI large language model technology 
to allow you to describe the patch you want with normal human language. And we do all the work to generate a one-of-a-kind unique patch based on your description. You can be as detailed or as general as you'd like and Patch Builder will give you something inspiring. When you feed us your prompt, your patch is generated in just seconds. And to be clear, we're not just feeding you an existing layered patch from the library. We're actually using AI to steer the generation of an entirely unique patch based on your specifications and using the full power of the sounds in Sunday Keys. Let me show you how it works. Patch Builder is available to you with an active Sunday Keys license anytime you're connected to Wi-Fi. To use it, just tap the plus icon and choose Create with Patch Builder. In this window, simply describe the patch you'd like in whatever words make sense to you. This is called a prompt. You can list specific kinds of sounds you'd like the patch to include, like a grand piano, a shimmer pad, or a bright lead. You can also describe the mood, vibe, or genre that you're going for, like make me an intense dramatic patch for a service opener, or I'd like a mix of sounds for an acoustic worship set, or I'd like a big upbeat dance patch for a youth worship night. And you can even be specific about how many sounds you'd like the patch to include, even where you'd like key sounds on the keyboard, like make me a patch with five to seven total sounds and place some arps and sequences in the left hand. When you're ready, just hit build patch and we go to work for you. Behind the scenes, we're using AI to understand the core ideas behind what you're describing, along with our knowledge of the sounds in Sunday Keys and how worship music works to give you a great patch as a result. In just a few seconds, Patch Builder outputs a patch ready for you to try. If you like it, choose Use This Patch to add it straight to your set list. You can also tweak the patch to adjust effects, layer ranges, or even swap out sounds in this view. And if you're not happy with the result, tapping Try Again will repeat the AI-assisted generation process to give you another unique patch to try based on your description. You can also update the prompt itself to be more or less specific or to mention things you realized are important to you after the initial patch was generated. Being able to deliver a one-of-a-kind experience like this that can save worship leaders and keys players time but also deliver these unexpected moments of inspiration where a patch just perfectly meets the description or takes you in a direction you wouldn't have gone otherwise was a huge part of why we set out to build the Sunday Keys app in the first place. And I'm proud to say that this new AI patch builder is truly a one-of-a-kind resource to help you better serve your worship team and feel prepared at the keyboard. This workflow is a great complement to how easy it already is to build patches from scratch and to browse and find ready-to-play patches in the library. And it gives you a new way to be inspired with the perfect patch for any song. Now that you have an overview of how the new AI patch builder works, I wanted to show you some real time examples of how this new workflow can work for you. Let's start off by opening the patch builder. Let's start off with a basic prompt like piano and a pad. And in just a couple of seconds, the patch builder gives us something back. We can try it. If we like the general idea and we'd like to try something else, we can hit try again to repeat the generation. This is going to give us the same number of sounds and the same kinds of sounds, but with different options. So this time we ended up with an extra soft voicing of the SK Grand in this really ambient sort of sound bed. Let's see what happens if we go back to edit prompt and we get a bit more specific. Instead of saying piano, let's say grand piano and a pad. Adding this little bit of extra detail makes sure that no matter how many times we regenerate, we always end up with a grand piano. And this would work for other kinds of pianos as well. So we could say, instead of a grand piano, we'd like a felt piano. Describing what you're looking for on a basic level is a great way to make sure that you get the results you want without having to repeat the process a bunch of times. Let's edit our prompt further and take this to another place by adding a single letter, S, felt, piano, and pads. Making that plural gives us a stack of pads, which is often what we're actually looking for when we talk about a pad in worship music. Now, the more sounds that are generated by Patch Builder, the more likely you are to want to level match them a little bit. So I'm gonna bring the volume of the pads down. And we could hit try again if we wanted a different result overall, or if you want to just swap out one individual layer, we could go in and choose a specific felt piano if we knew that's what we wanted. You can add, remove, replace sounds, just as you would in any ordinary Sunday Keys patch.
Now I'm going to show you how you can prompt in an entirely different way. Rather than describing the kinds of sounds that you'd like in your patch, you can just describe the overall vibe. There's some really interesting things you can do with human language here. So you could, of course, just say simple things like make me a very big patch that fills a lot of space. And that's very open ended. It's just focused on the size of the patch, how much space it needs to fill. And you're going to get a cool result. Now, when you're not as specific in the sounds you're looking for, it's a bit more of an exploratory process. You might find points of inspiration and then run with them, modify them, or you can always try again. So let's hear how this sounds. We'll try again just to see what we get. I think that's really cool. The exciting thing about using the AI patch builder is it helps you come across sounds that you might not have found yourself otherwise by just thinking about the way you typically browse for sounds or the sounds that you most often use. So we can actually talk about a popular worship song. So a patch for, we'll go a little old school, revelation song, but in the style of a big electronic synth song. And then let's see what we get. Since you're able to describe things in human language, you can get pretty specific. You can mention artists, you can mention popular songs, and the results you get based on those prompts can vary. They can lead to some really interesting results. Last thing that I want to show you, this kind of prompting I think is maybe my favorite to do because it just helps me remember just how many interesting sounds there are in Sunday keys. It's doing something like this, surprise me with 10 sounds. And this really is effectively just a random button at this point that we're able to push and then see what we get back. So if I were gonna use this for a worship set, I might go ahead and grab like a core sort of piano sound. And then I can adjust the mix of these other layers, save that snapshot. So a patch like that could go a bunch of different ways, I think, and I'm able to just describe a general ask, surprise me, give me something fresh, make something big, something small, something that feels like a film score. The other exciting thing is that when we put out a new sound library update every month, the possibilities continually expand. As of right now today, this feature is available to everyone with an active Sunday Keys license when you update to the latest version of the app for iPad and Mac. If you have auto update on, this release will phase out to you over the next several days. And if you don't want to wait, just head to the App Store, search for Sunday Keys and select Update. With an active Sunday Keys license right now, you can generate as many patches as you'd like. We're only going to limit extreme cases to prevent abuse. And over time, you can expect that this AI patch builder will only improve as we learn more about how you all use it, what kinds of prompts it does best at, and of course, as we continue to add incredible new sounds to the library, that Patch Builder can then use. For now, we'd love your feedback once you start getting into this feature. And we can't wait to see what you build. See you next time.